as a general director, you're you're the you're the you're the you're the arbitrator. You're the you're the negotiator, the broker between an audience and a creative yeah, team. Um, so, um, and how much do creative teams really understand audiences, and how much do they get very wrapped up in? Oh, we've got to be creative. We've got to you know we've got to we've got to do something different. We've got to do something exciting. We've got to do something imaginative. Of course, they have to do. But in the end, how, how you know when do they? really think, well, what is the audience going to think of this? Well, to come back to your original question, indeed, my journey has taught me the other side. So when I was a director, I don't think I did think about that. Um, and it's absolutely right the creative teams are thinking about their job. Um, and you put it in one, that the company is the intermediary between that vision, that work. We're, tele we're transmitting the piece to the audience. Um, and so if there is an instance where something is way off budget, you know, what I like to do is talk to the team and say, OK, what are you trying to say with this scene? Uh, and talk with them. And I think this is where having been a practitioner um, helps because, um, well, A, I've been talking through the creation of a new project anyway. You know, um, so that's part of the process. But it does help, I think, to crystallise it down to what are you trying to say here? What, you know, what do you want this piece or this scene or whatever to mean? And if it can't work that way, how else can we evolve it? And you can, nor you can actually always find an alternative way, but you've got to do that because you can't recklessly say, you know, art, art must prevail if the, the resources are not there to do it. It's interesting for me because, um, you know, I sometimes go to the opera and you have very conceptual productions, very abstract, very perhaps, you know, very different from, from, from what you would expect the work to be. So, you know, modernised, which can be wonderful or can be awful. Um, they, 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 they can be presented in incredibly different ways theatrically. Sometimes things just don't work and you, you, the, the curtain goes down and the audience is just dispirited and, and you sort of think, well, as a, as a general manager or general director of a company, um, at what point can you step in and say, look, I know this isn't going to work. We've got to change this. And how much is it actually a, a, an oil tanker that started to move and you cannot stop it? Yeah, an opera is a bit like that. So I think the answer is it has to be done uh, a, in a dialogue before the company accepts the concept of the design. So, so the process is what well, should be that once the invitation is made and, you know, I like to... It, it, I don't just ring someone up saying, come do a show. Um, it's important to talk to that person, get a sense of what their view is likely to be. Not to dictate it in any way, um, but to understand it. And certainly in the past, I've, I can think of a couple of moments when I felt in those discussions that something was going to go awry. So in the politest way, you sort of <laughs> join the conversation and can gently steer it off that rock. Um, but I can think of times as a director when the first time I have given the, you know, gone with the design to, to the company, that's the first time the company have seen it, which is catastrophic because if they don't like it, um, it's actually quite hard for them to say, you know, Aiden, we, that, that's rubbish, <laughs> let's go, go away. And so often um, when a show, you know, I've watched a show when I think this should not have got beyond the model presentation because it's clearly baked into that concept is something which isn't going to chime in with the audience of the country concerned. 